What you want to say? I'm back for the third time. <laughs> uh, <clears throat> but I, yeah, I'm still supporting you. And uh, my daughter, actually, I've turned her onto your channel. Okay. Uh, my youngest, my youngest daughter. Mm -hmm. She's actually in uh, the healing mode of breaking up. And I told her some of the things that you're teaching. And uh, cause she, I told her uh, quite a few things, so she's liking it. And I wanted to ex express something. I, I just saw a couple of comments from men. When I divorced my wife after 22 years, I went seven years without ever having any kind of intimacy or sex with any woman to heal myself and know what I want. And I figured, and basically your three rules are some of the things I do on my dating. If sex is brought up, even in my opinion, brought up too soon, it's a turnoff for me because that's not what I want. If I want that, then that's just what I'll be in the, I'll be in the hookup culture, but I don't want a hookup. I want a relationship. And I know some men call, some of the guys at work have called me names. And I said, well, you know what? When you reach my age of 48 years old, you want a real relationship. You don't want, uh, I want a woman. I don't want a girl. I want, I want a woman who cares, who has the same respect I do in every relationship. And that's, I will not settle unless that I, I mean, I, there you go. The perfect play. I like that. I mean, I will not settle. And that's why I'm still single because I, I, it's not that I have a high standard. I have, I have respect for myself and I want the woman to have respect for herself just as much as I do. And I teach my, I taught all my girls the exact same thing. Respect yourself and a man will respect you. And if a man's not willing to wait, he doesn't want you. He wants your body. He doesn't want you. And that's just, that's my opinion. So it's not an opinion it's a fact the fact is if he moves on because you're not giving access to your body it's because that's all he wanted there was zero interest in your intellect zero interest in your personality zero interest in your heart you as a person doesn't matter the body was what he wanted get rid of those people yeah, I agree. Cause that's just not what I want. I mean, because I've always felt like this people prioritize sex over intimacy and relationship. And some men are stupid to the point where they think intimacy is sex and intimacy is nothing about sex. And that's where I want, I want, I want to be able to know somebody on a deeper level, somebody that's my best friend, like you have with your husband that you kind of talk about. I want a best friend in my relationship. I don't, I don't, I want somebody that I, I want to talk to about every single detail of my life. And you can't get that when you prioritize a lot of other things and having the, 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 the zero fight relationship. That's another thing I really want because my 22 year marriage was about always fighting and it drove me up the wall and I'm not the one to fight. I don't like to fight. I don't want to argue, but because uh, I've, I've actually had to teach my oldest daughter, she goes straight to screaming and hollering. And I said, you know, exactly what are you accomplishing when you do that you're causing that man to either shut down or actually fight back because our you know what you need to do is sit down and have a conversation if somebody can't c communicate with you without getting mad screaming hard slamming doors then that's not a healthy relationship that's going to turn into a toxic relationship and and that's what i don't want because we're all we're all grown and we should be able to communicate with each other without getting upset like you said the other day when you get upset you walk out of the room for a little while before you come back to talk, to talk so you don't have that. And I listen to you. I may not talk all the time, but I do listen to what you're saying. And uh, I think a lot more men need to be involved in this and quit trying to break you. I know it don't bother you trying to, you know, say bad things about what you're doing. I love what you're doing. And more men need to be respectful for what you're doing and respect women because we, you know what? Women are beautiful women. They're awesome people, and without them, a, a good woman behind a man will make a man very successful, and they don't understand that. Women, we do need women. We don't need girls. We need women. <laughs> but you're doing an amazing job, and, and I'm glad, yes, I'm glad these women are here learning from you. And I want you, I eventually, I want to see your room at 20,000 people. Maybe oh. that would be better. <laughs> oh, we're getting there. I know you are. I mean, I remember the first time I came in, I think it was like 65. You've grown a lot. I think women are starting to spread the word, which is good. <laughs> okay, so I, I, I'm getting a increasing trickle of people telling me that other people are talking about me on their live streams. Yes. 
I, I, I've seen that on one live stream. It was a dating white live stream, matter of fact, and they were having like the speed dating thing. And, uh, and I was just listening to some of the things they said. And actually the host was talking about your alive to women. And I thought that was interesting. Do you remember what they were saying? They just said you should go check her out because they, because uh, some of the women in there are talking about, I can't find a good man and all this stuff. And I said, if you really want to find a good man, go to this room here, listen to her, see what she's saying. Because, you know, it is, I hear it a lot. A lot of women say, I can't find a good man. And sometimes they say men, good men finish last. We don't finish last. We just know what we want and we respect ourselves and we respect the women. And I will not, and, and uh, it might be here to cripple with me, but I will not date a woman who's, you know, not respecting herself and it could be a lot of ways i just don't want to yeah. yes i love those values i mean i love everything about that because i mean every one of those i, I really do work on every day you know because you do got to have self-control impulse you got to have respect for yourself you gotta and not just yourself the other person too but especially yourself and I love it. And uh, I just want to say, they keep doing what you're doing. There's a lot of men out there who do like what you're doing, especially us good men. The men who come in here, try to put you down. They're not good men. Those are guys. Those yes. are guys. And I know that. And it doesn't bother me. I'm like, thank you. You're making my point for me. Thank you for being a tool I can use to show women what to avoid. Thank you for showing us the opposite of what a man is. And I want women to choose men because men respect us. They respect us, meaning they're not moving in, encroaching, trying to take without our consent, trying to take without our knowledge and insight about who they are. They welcome the assessment because they're intelligent. They're assessing you because they're intelligent. They like the assessment period because men have patience. They have impulse control. They are intelligent and want to understand who you are because they respect you as an individual. I tell you how I built my impulse control and all that. Uh, it's the taking the seven years and learning what I wanted and not being intimate with anyone because be honest with you, men, we, we, we have that in our built into us. We see a woman and you know, we want to do those things, but by allowing myself to go seven years without being intimate with any woman, actually help my impulse control and get to know someone you know i mean i really want to have a conversation if i have a conversation and within a couple of days if it leads to her talking about sex i will actually cut that conversation off or say i, I really don't want to talk about it it's not because i don't want it it's because i want to know you i don't want to know the other part that's something that comes along with getting to know you and building a relationship all that comes along and if a man can't control himself then I, I, he needs to learn. He needs to be single for a long time to control himself. We need to weed them out. It's our yeah. responsibility to weed out the wrong ones because the wrong ones women. aren't doing it for us. The wrong ones are trying to manipulate us into getting access. So it's our responsibility to get them out. Yes, absolutely. Because I've had women ask me my body count, which I don't care. It don't bother me. I know it's on your list, but I don't ask them in return because you know what? That's not what I'm looking for. I don't care if it's been 500 women. I'm, I mean, men, I don't care. I don't care how many women, men, whatever you've been with as a woman, that is your personal response. That is your personal thing. And that's not what I'm building towards. I'm building you to stop your body count. And I'm the last one. <laughs> that's what I want. I'll be your last one. Not, you know, I don't care about all that because that does not make you a person that makes you just somebody who's still looking for a relationship. A lot of women, nowadays it, uh, it just seems nowadays but when i was growing up, i'm a 48 i don't you know when i was growing up it was a bad thing for women to have a, a, a high body count and all that stuff nowadays it seems like women tend to date more men because they're trying to find the right one but at the same time i think you said one day it doesn't matter if you're seeing a person and you whatever and you do date another person you know it, it shouldn't matter what a person is doing until you build that relationship. Once you build that relationship, she's going to stop doing what she's doing and want you. And that's how I look at it. Because, I, I mean, I don't ask. I really believe you should never ask. I don't think that should be. Men should never want to know that because it's none of their business, first of all. And when you put that in your mind, it's none of your business. Her past is her past, and you should be her future and not her, and not worry about her past. Mm -hmm. If you live in the past, you'll never, you'll never build a future. It's
get your paper bags from Amazon, get your ebook bundle deals, get your audio books. All those buttons are in the link tree in my bio. Thank you.